so as you see some of the things that you've seen so far, how do you feel like this is relating to the president's agenda that you've helped craft and thinking about? Well, I mean, uh, what's exciting about it is these devices now, because so many of them are internet enabled, they can bring information to people in a place and in a manner that they see fit. So open government means one thing, but when you can download an iPhone app to read the Federal Register focused on the areas that you care about, well, that we say thank you to George Mason for having developed that innovative app. So on a consumer device, uh, people can now interact with their government in ways never imagined. So that is a lot of what's exciting about this, is that the opportunities to use these connection points to uh, uh, advance our policy objectives. Finally, you know, where we have the content in place, the, the hardware is coming, you know, to take that avatar experience into your living room. That's right. Uh, and we're trying to find ways in which, as those devices are more internet enabled, how the television might actually be the portal to communicate with your government, uh, to inform uh, your energy usage. To I don't know how much time you have, but I, that's one of the things I wanted to highlight for a second. Please. Uh, while we're here, Skype is new for us this year. Yeah, I saw that. You know, and, and presumably this is as easy as one could imagine, so that if I wanted to call my doctor and to share with them some of my uh, concerns, this could literally enable that transaction without a lot of overhead. Yeah, absolutely. You don't need a PC. It's all... Because these are broadband enabled TVs, I mean, you don't even need a hardwired hookup because it's all wireless. Right now, to equip someone's home for telemedicine might be $1,000 all in. At least the VA did a study on this issue, and that was the presumption used in their evaluation. That's kind of the cost per person. When you start to see these uh, Skype enabled TVs where you don't have a lot of extra infrastructure needed, that home could be equipped at literally no additional cost if that home had previously been uh, equipped with a Skype-enabled TV. So nothing more than their broadband connection, which many people already have, and they literally could conduct telemedicine uh, with ver virtually no marginal cost. That's an amazing innovation. Yeah. So what do we see here? Just pictures all over the world, huh? I guess this is a new interface for Flickr, which is pretty interesting. So I'm assuming Flickr, did Flickr build this app? No, actually, we, we actually work with a third-party vendor to build this installation for CES so people can really get their hands on the power of our 2010 Ford S7 processor. So in this case, you're looking at a lot of Flickr images, but you can see you can access a variety of Google News. You can access information about what's happening here at CES through live tweets, blogs. Yeah. We've got information on our new core processor family as well. So we've got a lot of different things to sort through. We just, again, the controllers are right in the back there. So on those laptops, you can say, okay, I just want to sort news clips. News clips, and that's all you'd say. I want to see the recent blog post by the Washington Post. Can you pull that? <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> Thank you.